Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D, and this tutorial we're going to be going over um, interfaces. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create an interface. Right-click on your Hello World package, and then select Interface. This interface we're going to um, create is for shapes, and generally for interfaces I create, I always add an I before them. So I shape will be the interface name. So and click Finish, and it now we have an interface. The difference between an interface and an actual class is that you can't define anything except predefining your methods. So you can't put any variables that would be in here. It would be illegal. So let's go ahead and say that for our shape we're going to have three main functions. We're going to have public, void, and render, and then public, void um, actually it won't be a void be int um, get position and then public void set position and this will be um, int x and int y so again, just like an abstract class when we created before, we can we don't have to or actually but you can't define them here as you can in uh an abstract class. Alright, so let's create an abstract class from this interface of eye shapes. So new and let's do Java class. And because it's gonna be an abstract, I'm gonna add A in front of it for naming conventions and shape finish. Then we go ahead and add abstract between public and class. And instead of using extend for interfaces, you actually use implements. And then we do use iShape. Alright, so now we have um, our functions that we have that we still need to define. But let's go ahead and add some properties first. So public int position and public int size. Now the um the thing between an abstract and a concrete class is that you still don't have to define all your functions as they're listed here. Or your methods as they're listed here. So if we go back to our shape abstract shape class, we can go ahead and define get um, void, or actually be public void, or actually public int, and then we're going to say get position. Now we can define it here saying return position. And then we'll just go ahead and define our set position. So public void set position. And then we can say position zero equals x. Actually we have to redefine this up here too. X and Y. So position zero which would be the x axis equals x and position 1 which will be the y-axis equals y. Alright, so as you notice we defined our get position and set position but we still have not defined our render. Um, because it's an abstract class we don't have to define it yet until we get into that concrete class which there are. Let's go ahead and create one now. So we'll go ahead and create a new class and we're going to name this rectangle. So now we got public class rectangle and we're going to say extends um, a shape for abstract shape. Um, now it's going to error out saying um, rectangle is not an abstract class and it does not override the render method of i shape. So basically this is going to stay underlined until we actually define the last method which is render. So let's do public void render and the underline will go away 
that's the basics of an interface combined with an abstract class to eventually make a concrete class.